Hello everyone, Mr. Kenor here. This is part two of building our moon base in Tinkercad. And this is a part where we're gonna start adding some details. So I already have uh, my moon base sort of, sort of built, uh, rough draft of it. And the first thing I wanna add is a place for the rocket ship to come down and land. And now that you know Elon Musk and SpaceX has shown that we can land boosters, maybe it won't just be a lunar lander that comes down and lands. Maybe we'll have like a whole rocket ship coming down and landing on the surface. So we'll put that sort of near our moon base. Obviously in real life, it would be further away just in case it crashes. And we'll have our landing pad next to our airlock. Another fun detail that we could add in is uh, like making these see-through. So if I click on one of my shapes and I come up to the color here, you can actually choose transparent to be the color of the dome. And what could you do with, uh, with transparent? Well, you could show what is happening inside. So maybe uh, inside this pod right here uh, is where we're growing crops or we're recycling water, having water storage. So I'm gonna make a little pond. And then obviously you could make some, some trees or something, maybe I'll just do uh, I'll just do a green cone just because I wanna keep this video short, but you could add in so much more detail, uh, you know, showing where maybe we're growing crops or corn or uh, whatever kind of things we, we might be growing on the surface of the moon. Now it's a little difficult when you have a transparent shape. So maybe what you could do too is move it out of the way because sometimes it's hard to select uh, the different shapes when they're inside of another shape. So if you're having trouble, that might be an option too. You just kind of move it off to the side or if you click on the uh, light bulb up here, you can hide it and then you click on the light bulb up at the top to show anything that you've hidden over here. All right, another thing that you wanna do when you're adding detail is having some solar panels. Solar panels are important. We need energy from somewhere, and because there's no atmosphere, we get a lot of direct sunlight. So you could either use a wedge, uh, or you could just use a box. I'll do a wedge, uh, just because they're, they're sort of easy. And then, um, you know, depending on where you are on the lunar surface, would probably change the angle uh, to maximize direct sunlight. So if you're towards the, the poles, it would need to be a little bit steeper but you can do the math when you figure out where on the lunar surface you've landed and they're creating your, your moon base. All right, if you come up here to, oh, let me make this a little bit smaller and then I'll show you. So if you go duplicate and repeat, this is a great tool because whatever action you take, it remembers both the copying and pasting of the object and the motion. So I moved it over here. If I hit duplicate again, it does another one and moves it over here. So it's kind of like a copy and paste and remembers any kind of movement that you did. So now I've got some solar panels over here. Uh, what else could I add? You know, something that's really nice about the moon that's different than here on earth is that there is no atmosphere. So it's a great place to do astronomy. So something else that you could add might be a telescope. You might want to have one of these pods uh, be designated for astronomy. So maybe it's um, a place where humans don't even go because obviously you can't just open, open the roof and have the telescope come out like uh, some places here on Earth. And uh, we want our telescope facing away from the sun. So let's kind of have it off to the side here or you could even, even rotate it a little bit further. But Maybe we have, uh, you know, a nice telescope that we could look and do astronomy when it's not um, pointed close to the sun. So we got about 14 days on the moon of total darkness, depending uh, where you are. Again, your, your latitude uh, does make a difference, but you can do some great astronomy on the surface of the moon. So, all right, everyone. That's it. I hope you've added some detail. I look forward to seeing your projects.